Welcome to the show. Now, PTZ cameras have been at the fore of many remote productions over the last year or so, from fly on the wall documentaries to gardening and cookery shows. And their presence not only means less crew on site, which of course has been desirable during the pandemic, but also opens up many remote possibilities with an IP connection. IP PTZs are nothing new, of course, but in the news recently, we reported on the new JVC range, which feature 4K streaming, which is something of a game changer, opening up many creative options. So here to tell us a bit more about them is John Kelly from JVC. Welcome back to the show, John. Hello, guys. Good to be here in a hot day. So let's rewind a little bit before we get into the new models, as you've, you've been producing PTZs for a while now. What what was already out there, and where did you see the need to add 4K streaming into these this new range of cameras? Um, yeah, so as you say, Matt, then we've had a number of products uh, for for in, over the recent years and within the PTZ market, uh, principally our KYPZ100, uh, and that was a HD PTZ with uh, with live streaming capability, mm. uh, and we sold that really quite successfully into. Well, I guess a really wide range of applications like production, corporate, education, institution, uh, and so on. And of course, we've seen the demand for that growing uh, in the in the in both the pre-COVID, uh, COVID world, and and now as we move slowly into the post-COVID world as well. Um, so uh, that camera and that range was running uh, really quite successfully until now, um, but we identified in addition uh, the need to add in. Uh, a number of additional products and features into the range. Um, and in particular, as, as you mentioned, uh, that is uh, 4K, both from an imaging point of view uh, and also from a, from a live streaming point of view. And then in addition to that, uh, a number uh, of expanded IP and streaming formats, including, for example, NDI. So they're the kind of features that we were looking to target and add into the range, uh, which we'll be releasing mm. over the next couple of months. So, John, this is your first NDI camera, isn't it? I mean, do you see NDI as being a key format to support going forwards? Yes, I mean, I, I, absolutely. Um, we've seen, obviously, a very steady increase in the market demand for NDI over over the last two, three, four, uh, and more years. So for us, certainly, it was very important to uh, to adopt NDI as one one of the new formats on the camera. So obviously, for those kind of live production, maybe studio based applications, then NDI is really gaining a lot of ground, a lot of interest. Again, in a wide range of markets, including those corporate and education institutions, as well as other other live production areas. So NDI, uh, and it's NDI HX we're adding into, into the new models, uh, is certainly a key, uh, a key part and a key feature uh, of, of the new model range. However, it's not the only thing we're adding in. We're also adding in uh, SRT streaming support also. Um, SRT, as you might well be familiar, uh, stands for Secure mm. Reliable Transport. Uh, and it's a streaming format, a little bit different in some ways, uh, or a number of ways to, to, to NDI, because what it offers is uh, is a very robust codec for bandwidth challenged environments. So perhaps you're in a remote production environment where the network bandwidth is not stable. Uh, you, it might be a Wi-Fi network. It could even be a cellular network, for example. Um, and what SRT gives you is, uh, is a suite of uh, tools, if you like, which uh really uh, gives you resilience against uh, packet loss over that ip network so uh it employs techniques such as forward error correction to do that and that really means as i say in, in those more network challenged environments srt is a really really good and interesting choice for those for those kind of uh, applications and requirements so um I think having both NDI HX and also SRT within the camera is a really strong uh, and important point of the, of the range we're now introducing. Yeah, no, cool. So that's connectivity and, and, and transport covered. What about other than the 4K, what other options are in there? So the range itself, uh, there are uh, there are really sort of three th three main models, if you like. So I have, for example, the uh, the four K one here, yeah. which is a KYPZ four hundred. So this is four uh, K imaging with a twelve times optical zoom. Hopefully, you can see it a little bit from there. 
Um, and then from an output point of view, which again, hopefully you can see it's got uh, HDMI, it's got uh, yep. 3G SDI. It also, of course, has got the LAN connection for some of the, uh, the streaming, uh, the streaming formats uh, that we that we've already discussed. Okay. Um, of course, there's a wide range of control, uh, both serial and IP control. You can control the cameras for depending on your your application and your environment. Um, mm. So the KYPZ400 is the first model will be coming out in, uh, in in September, so over the next month or two. Um, but then, in addition, shortly after that, there'll be a couple of HD models as well. Um, so there'll be a model uh, okay. uh, with NDI for those customers that do need NDI HX support, and there'll be a model without NDI if that's not a requirement for your application, and therefore you don't need to to pay the, the relevant license fee for that. Um, uh, the HD models yeah. are 20 times uh, optical zoom. Uh, in the case of those, of course, the same uh, SDI, HDMI outputs. And and uh, basically the same streaming formats as well. So very much, you know, giving you good choice of the range, whether you need NDI or not, uh, whether you need HD or 4K, and including up to those 4K streaming options. Uh, I should note, by the way, also in the case of the PZ400, so the, the 4K model, then yeah. the, uh, the that also supports dual streaming as well. So you can, for example, uh, stream in 4K, you can stream in HD, uh, in dual streaming formats also. So you've got a lot of flexibility in there. Oh, cool. uh, the last point, maybe just a note on the HD models, is the HD uh, also supports the UVC format. And UVC uh, is, uh, is a protocol over the USB interface, which the camera has. And that basically allows the, uh, the HD models, PZ200 uh, models, to operate basically as a webcam. So you could use it with Skype or Teams or Zoom or something like oh, that uh, in a corporate or education institution environment. So it just really, it adds to the range and the width of applications which uh, which the, those models are suitable for. Flexibility. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So let's talk about uh, live events now, and in particular, uh, camera synchronization, as I, I know you can run into all sorts of issues doing you know the camera synchronization on live events. How um, maybe just talk us through those and and how you, how you've tackled and addressed those with these new PTZs? Yeah, sure. So uh, I mean, I guess firstly we're all you know pretty familiar in traditional video terms in a let's say SDI studio uh, environment of of uh, the vision mixer frame syncing your inputs or perhaps gen locking all of your sources and your cameras and so on. Uh, of course, in an IP world, if you're using IP, then that's not. Uh, that's not really so possible or, or easy to do. So what we've added into to, to the new models is is Vixie time code synchronization using uh, the NTP uh, protocol. So NTP is a network time uh, protocol. And basically what you do in, in that kind of environment, uh, you use an NTP source, which is a bit like a, an internet clock effectively. Um, and you set all of yeah. your, uh, let's say, See production elements within your uh, within your environment, including the vision mixer, and of course also the the, the PTZ cameras uh, to reference to effectively lock to that um, uh, to that NTP time source. Mm. And that basically gives you a really good level of synchronization between all of your camera sources uh, within within that particular production environment. Um, of course, you might have cameras in different locations coming over different network bandwidths and different types and interfaces and so on. So that NTP uh, support really gives you a way of, of, of mitigating that and giving you good time synchronization uh, uh, across all of your sources. And in terms of, of future proofing, one thing that came to mind just now is I did, we didn't ask it. I'm sure it does and it will support NDI5. But what, what can customers expect in regard to updates, future updates with, with, with the range? Yeah, well, I mean, I think, uh, uh, you know, we've, uh, we've talked to various uh, uh, calls in the past about uh, our camcorder range. And I think uh, we've got a really good um, track record and history of providing, you know, really strong functionality upgrades to, yeah. uh, to, to all of our product range over continuous development and continuous uh, updates uh, of, of the firmware. So um, obviously it's early days for these models. They're, they're, they haven't yet been uh, started shipping and been introduced. <laughs> to 
Um, but I'm fully confident that we'll see the same kind of roadmap and additional features over uh, over the over the months and years to to add to these particular products. Also, have you got a shipping date on those, John? And can you give us a price point roughly? Um, yes. So um, the uh, the first model will be the uh, uh, KYPZ400, which is the 4K model. Uh, and that will be at some point, uh, maybe maybe mid September, or certainly within September, we expect also. And that will be followed on by uh, within hopefully a few weeks, maybe a month, uh, with the addition of uh, uh, of the uh, KY uh, PZ two hundred. So the two models, uh, both with and without NDI. Uh, I should also note, of course, by the way, that um, uh, we have a black model here, so they are in normal traditional style, available either in black or white. But yeah, they'll be shipping over the next, uh, really over the next few months as we go into, go into the autumn. We need a camo one for the future. So yeah. <laughs> thanks very much for, for coming and seeing us, John. Thank you very much. And thanks also to Media Proxy for their support of Kit Plus TV. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.